Tucker Carlson might have you believe that he's not a big fan of the media. He's previously called them animals and cowards just in April. Says, I just can't overstate how disgusted I am. Not simply by the details of the lying of the medium, but disgusted by the emphasis. The media is basically Praetorian guard for the ruling class. I really hate them for it, I'll be honest. A lot of people coming out and saying, no, dude loves to gossip with the media actually. He loves to frame things his way, play stories and things like that. So this is Ben Smith from the New York Times says, Mr. Carlson spends his time when he's not denouncing the liberal media trading gossip with them. He's the go to guy for sometimes unflattering stories about Donald J. Trump and for coverage of the internal politics of Fox News, not to mention stories about Mr. Carlson himself. I won't talk here about any off the record conversations I may have had with him, but 16 other journalists, none from the Times, it would put my colleagues in a weird position if I asked them, told me on background that he has been, as three of them put it, a great source. <laughs> Michael Wolf called him a primary super secret source. I don't even know what that means, but <laughs> um, anyway, so he rails against the media quite often, pitching them as either snitches or stenographers for the status quo, which I largely agree with, but probably not in the same story as he would. Um, and that sort of thing, purveyors of cancel culture and all that. But he seems to like gossiping with them. My relationship with Tucker Carlson goes back a ways. So Tucker Carlson worked at the Arkansas Democrat Gazette newspaper in the early 1990s. I was a television reporter mm. at the, uh, the ABC affiliate there in the mid 1990s. We shared anecdotes on the 2000 campaign of the John McCain bus. So I, I got to know him then. Uh, he goes to NBC, I went to MSNBC, I would substitute for his show, 2007, 2008. Uh, uh, to me, he was always a really nice guy off camera. And even on camera, we would have our disagreements, but he was always respectful. But the one thing that really stood out to me is that when I got in a little bit of trouble with uh, Hillary Clinton and Chelsea Clinton, and it's a long story, Google David Schuster pimped out if you want all the background. But I ended up on the front page <laughs> of the New York Post. Pimped out reporter gets suspended. And I've been, so here my, I see my career going up in flames at MSNBC. I'm suspended for two weeks. I don't know. My parents are asking me, what is this all about? And there I am on the front page of the New York Post. Tucker Carlson comes up and says, Schuster, this is the best thing that has ever happened to you. This is great. Go out and collect every New York Post you could possibly can. Save them. This is terrific for you, Schuster. And I'm thinking, really? And so, but that to me was his sort of view, the idea that you mm -hmm. are the news, that you are the one that everybody is talking about. You now have a reputation as a ball buster, whatever it is. He thought that was awesome. And to me, it got to sort of my overall view of how Tucker has evolved over the last now 12, 13 years. And again, it's been six or seven years since I'm actually since I've actually had a conversation with him. I think this really is a game to him. I think he knows that as long as he's feeding this stuff out to the masses and he's controversial. And he's saying crazy things. I don't think he really believes most of the stuff that he's putting out there, but he knows it gets a huge audience. He knows how to play the conservative game better than anybody as the, the, the ratings on Fox News for him show. And so he just keeps feeding it out there. And he does take some umbrage and some frustration with some of the journalists who are lazier people who are not sort of the more sort of pure. If you're gonna be a journalist, be a pure journalist. If you're gonna be mm -hmm. a, an opinion pundit, be a pundit. And I think he does take some issue with people who cross the line. But again, to me, this is just a game for him, and he's and he's playing it really well. Would I play that game? No, I, I couldn't pull it off the way he pulls it off because to me, it's inauthentic. But Tucker Carlson has a way of mm -hmm. understanding. He embraces that he is the story. He embraces that he's creating this narrative about Republicans and about Democrats, and he loves it. And so that's just my view in terms of how this has all evolved.